Thank you very much for honoring us. My name is Adeli Bolibwe. Can you introduce your name and your organization, please? My name is Mitchell Bolibwe, and I'm CEO and founder at InterSwitch. So what do you call organization? Well, InterSwitch is a payment business, a digital payment and commerce business. We started in December 2002. Um, first, we built the payment infrastructure, documented banks, and on top of that, we have layered different solutions um, that focus on collection, disbursement, transfers, quick payments, and everything that basically kind of drives commerce on a business. Right. So you say a company here from Nigeria? Yes, the Nigeria community that from Nigeria. And you have other branches? Yes, we do. Locally, we have, um, to, to, to get closer to our customers, we have offices in. Uh, in Ibadan, okay, uh, instead of Vegas, of course. We have offices in Port uh, Harcourt, we have in Abuja, we have in uh, Kaduna, we have in Kano, okay. And there's a plan to open one office somewhere in the north uh, What about outside Nigeria? Outside Nigeria, we have only seen ourselves as a Pan African business, and so we have this. Strategy, what we call a prototype of sea strategy, we all want to be in four regions. So, in our head, we have classified Nigeria as one region, uh, we have taken the whole of West Africa as another region. So, we have uh, an initiative in Gambia, uh, we have East Africa as a region, where well, we have offices in Kenya, Uganda, um, we look at Central Africa. And so, what we are doing in the next five years is basically to try and increase our on-ground presence in some countries outside of uh, Nigeria. Nigeria. So looking at Ghana, for example, we're looking at DLC, uh, and so on and so forth. Yes. So how long have you known Mark? Well, my knowledge of Mark started as far back as 2000, uh -huh. when the idea for InterSwitch was still being formed you know, in my head. And what had happened was that we had attempted to bring banks together and it was very tough. So we had technology, we know what we wanted to, we knew what we wanted to do, but to get the business going, we had to get the potential users to see the need for that infrastructure. This required a lot of consultation, talk to people, and it was not something we were experiencing, so we had the consulting firm to assist us with. With it. At that time, Accenture was uh, did a lot of work with the banks and did a lot of strategy work. And in fact, what we were trying to do would help them drive that strategy. So, naturally, Accenture was a good um, um, firm to talk to. And it was because of that I met my So, the relationship still Yeah. So, what had happened was I had spoken to one of my CEOs then, one of my bosses, HOBRO about the challenges we were facing in trying to do this. And uh, HOV had a friend in uh, Accenture called uh, Shergo HOV, who we had spoken to. So between Shergo and Dr. Suleiman, who was then country managing director, I think Macaulay was given the mandate to run the initiative. And that's how I met Macaulay for the first time, in the summer time around 2000. And the relationship was, the goal you guys wanted to start with? Yeah, yeah, of course. When you work closely, the way you work at the bit like interest for many months, for many years actually, there's a lot of interaction. Um, during the day, we get up there sometimes, just to get this going. Um, we put it to Colombia and Africa, but obviously because of the number of people we to get involved. But yes, Macaulay and the team were very dogged, and in the end we achieved our objectives. Uh -huh. So what can we mark on Selmet and Turk in this? What was Mark's dream? So Mark was the, I'm not quite sure how they call them in the consultant, but I would say was the, it was the lead partner uh, on the Accenture side. So he basically had responsibility for delivering the project. So of course he had people like Dr. Sleiman who was reporting to them, but it was his job to deliver the project for me. He was kind of pleased with that point of view. And the project was successful? Yes. So it was very successful. You know, um, we are here today, 20 years later, we must have been a successful project. Yeah. Right. Thank you for that. Okay, finally, how, you how can you describe working with Mark? Because you said that you 
So, let me, I hope I'm talking to you. I hope I'm not talking to you. But let me tell you my first impression of Mark when I saw him as this guy. What did he study in school? <laughs> so, when I heard what he said, sir, are you sure this guy can't do that for us? Because mm -hmm. he was working for a firm, and I said, okay, there was something in his head for him to work for this kind of firm. And I think one of the things I must give to Mark is his ability to think outside the box. Mm -hmm. Let me explain. Okay. It, it, it's a cliche for people to say, oh, think outside the box. That's all I mean. Mm -hmm. that's what I mm -hmm. To think outside a small box, mm -hmm. but within a bigger box, where the parameters are well defined. So I don't go. So a lot of people, when they want to think outside the box, they go to all direct directions. Mm -hmm. And just waste your time. My colleague was thinking outside the box, but not wasting your time because he was able to create a bigger framework. Okay, that allowed us to see things we normally would have seen inside that box, but which was so critical. So a lot of the environmental factors, the I'll say the temperament of the different bands. You know, then we're dealing with big bands, mid-sized bands and small bands. Big bands wanted to dominate. In our head, we felt you know, this is something everybody should use. So we have to accommodate both the big, the medium size and the smaller bands at that point in time. And being able to maneuver all of those things was not easy. But somehow, between Macaulay, his bosses in Accenture, they were able to assist us to make that happen. Is there anything you have to add to this? Like, any of that? Yeah, I would say, when I look at a lot of development today mm -hmm. in payment, I would say what we did with uh, Mark and the team revolutionized payments in Nigeria. So don't get me wrong, okay. there were entities before us, mm -hmm. like what I call modern digital payments started with when we created an online real-time infrastructure. Mm -hmm whereby you could do a transfer and in less than two seconds the beneficiary gets it and gets back immediately. No, at that time it was no Yes. We had challenges with telecommunications, we had challenges with power, which we still have today. Mm -hmm. And nobody believed at that point in time that we would design uh, a system that could thrive mm -hmm. with all the challenges of telecommunications in an online real-time basis. I think the, the fact that Mark and the team believed in that vision that I had mm -hmm. and actually actively pushed it is one of the hallmarks of the kind of person that he is. Looking back now, I'm not quite sure the industry has um, has, has rewarded, recognized, maybe it's the right term to use. People like Mark who, in my view, were there at the beginning, pushed the story, got the banks to be involved, helped them to see this vision. I think there's a lot to be said. Today, everybody assumes things are for a given. Yeah. It was better like than many years ago. Okay, so I think people like Mark were very dogged, and they basically were the evangelists that pushed for adoption of electronic channels. Even from that days, I sort of interested when the consumption of banks. I remember some work that had been done with First Bank, then, and then I said, you give the opportunity to to speak at the first bank retreat. Yeah. Uh, again, that's at the time when first bank was romancing um, the whole idea of connect wireless then, okay? I tried to say I could leverage uh, mobile yeah. for banking. Yes. Yeah. Our first project with um, first bank and global call was also saw um, no mobile then. Yeah. So there are quite a few things that we did, but I think looking back now, people like Macaulay who basically grandfathered that whole increments and agenda need to I think we we'll get some information for what they did. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was it was uh, one of those things. We'll remember for us to see the top of the years <laughs> down the line I should tell you that uh, there's more to it than just the one that we did here. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. We appreciate your time and your comments. Thank you. Thank you.